Beat Invitational brought to you by Soylent. Of course, we have our other sponsors, Macharino, PvP Live, Steel Series, and Twitch. Please support them. Without our sponsors, we're unable to pay the teams. Teams don't show up. We can't provide you this content, and the circle of life goes on and on. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. So if you're interested in our sponsors, please show them your support. Tell them that the Beat Invitational sent you. We much appreciate it. By the way, I'm probably feeding the fire here, but I do, fi I do find it necessary to note that as far as we know, Steel has not been kicked from his team. Everyone keeps saying that, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he's just sick and sickness is subbing in, which has its own connotations, I guess. You know, he's sick and suddenly a guy named Sickness is subbing in. I'm not sure, but you can put your Steel walls away. As far as we know, he's still with Splice. Calm down, guys. All right, so it is Splice's choice. They're going to play defense, or as Pierre puts it, defense Reno. And uh, it all comes down to this. All right. We do see more teams opting to go def defense right now. And interesting enough, one shot prefers attack, so both teams kind of getting what they want in the series. Oh man, it's been a great night. Good sets. Coming down to the wire here between these two two teams. Envious lost a map. What a night. They lost a map and they came close to losing two maps. Now and it was in the very beginning of the series, so it looked like NG Red was well on the way to pulling the upset, but... Right. Envy dug deep, they brought back. It's sort of one of those things where you watch the Patriots or something in 2007 and some team goes up, you know, maybe two touchdowns in the first quarter. It's like, this is happening. And then, wait a second, they still have Tom Brady for the last three quarters. Absolutely terrifying. Yeah. Well, on this defense, for Splice, who chose to play defense first, it looks like they're going to run a Symmetra on King's Row. What is this, December? Man, yeah, Symmetra on King's Row, uh, is this Melty? Yeah. Circa last year? Well, one shot has beaten Melty, so yeah, it would not bode well for... For Splice, they are going to run this Symmetra. That is going to be pure playing the Symmetra. Cygnus is going to be on Soldier 76. Pop a Smurf on Reinhardt Clockwork on the defensive uh, Reaper. Flame is going to play Junkrat and Kozen on oh, the Mercy. Friend. So a lot rides on Kozen here being the single support. Um, yeah, so a, a bit of a bit of a throwback defense here with both the Symmetra and the Junkrat for Splice. All right, so bit of a blast from the past. Meanwhile, taking a look here at the offense coming out from the side of one shot. It's going to be ultimate weapon here on the Pharah, Chronic on the Reinhardt. Dot very well could be on the Hanzo. Uh, usually he's on Cypher type characters, and some teams do like running Hanzo, including Envy. So might be feast or famine here for the side of one shot. Meanwhile, Sakari on the Mercy, Rulf on the Roadhog, and Exe on the Zarya. By the way, I'm just saying, Chad, all this focus on Steel being missing, no one cares about Psycho Waffle yeah. being missing. <laughs> His computer died. He wasn't kicked or anything like that. Not a single mention of Psycho Waffle in the chat. The I miss you guys Psycho are monsters. <laughs> oh. All right, so let's watch what Dodd can get done on this uh, Hanzo. So kind of a clash of old and new styles here. As they're, they're doing a very traditional King's Row defense, and kind of this is the new wave of King's Row offense. You run triple tank and a Hanzo. Really, you so nice pick right early for the first pickoff. Yeah, yeah, take out Flame early. That's big. Uh, Roadhog Cook was on point. This is now 65. They have momentum going forward. The defense has to be a little bit more passive in how they deal with this. We do have the Reaper trying to get into the back. Clockwork having the back off. Oh, Two kills off. now for the offense. Make it three as Dot finds Pure. And you might be able to say goodnight to this one as far as the first point goes because I'm not sure the defense can get back on here in time. Yeah, with no teleporter up, with Kozen out of this fight. The positioning this combo already has over the top, that's it. That is definitely first point. Dot's gonna stay uh, on this uh, Hanzo. Really what they're looking for is enough poke damage to hit this Graviton Hanzo. That is the dream combo in Overwatch. You can't do anything to protect yourself against it. Does Transcendence heal at a high enough rate to Trans... It might. I think so, but uh, I gotta say here, as far as this goes, this is really rough for Splice. They, if they need to drill anything after the series, win or lose, they need to look at their first point defense, because their first point defense, especially against one shot right now, has been absolutely miserable. Yeah, it's been rough. 
Uh, so they do have uh, Dragon up, Earth Shutter's about to be up. I mean, everything is going in favor of one shot right now. There goes Earth Shatter. Clockwork onto the back line, picks up the triple kill. The res, though, comes out. That's gotten to do all the work he just did. And honestly, coming from the one shot perspective, they still have the ability to push this forward. You have the tech fight, though, coming up from Sickness from the back, aided by Clockwork. They're flanking this back line, looking for anything. Ultra Weapon, though, again, knocked them off, takes out Kozen, but not before the defense gets pretty far back. And here comes the tire. Oh, no, the tire's in the <laughs> Graviton. Wait, the tire's unleashed. The tire will go down the dot in the end. Yeah, I mean, they got the Graviton they had four, but the angle that that dragon ended up taking only ended up killing one, which is unfortunate. You save up trying to get that combo. I think they want to hit another one as Dot is remaining on this Hanzo. You know, I think that might be the first time I've actually seen a tire get sucked in by a Graviton. <laughs> Apparently, it's a thing. You'd think you would just ignore it, but no. Nothing gets past the forces of gravity. Either way, the it's offense is really pushing this forward. Splice is giving up an awful lot of ground right now. They're going to have to move in in just a moment. And here comes the speed boost. Clockwork moving to the back line. Not able to get on Chronic. The Zarya shield saving him in that moment. Now looking for Doc. Sound Bear is out, though, and Clockwork, kind of on an island by himself, needs to get out of that situation before it gets worse. Decent yeah. attack here coming up from the side of one shot. Well, they have the shield and the defense does not, so they're in trouble here. They're going to be taking so much damage. The fire strike takes down flame of all things. Ultra weapon holding on to the barrage coming in over the top. Takes out Pure. That's another kill here for the side of one shot. And now they're just going to push this forward, continue yeah. doing what they need to do. Three kills to their name. And this is a little bit rough here for Splice. They're giving up an awfully fast time. They yeah, also the have pretty much every ultimate you could want right now. I mean, Chronic did have to use his Earth Shadow to make sure they got that point. Sound Barrier is down, but Rolf is charging rather quickly here. And they've got the Dream Combo. They could they could combo anything with this Graviton. It's really just going to be up to Axie to find his moment. They might actually force them around by hitting a barrage behind and then Gravitoning in front. Clockwork again, moving to the back line, takes out Wolf immediately, finds his way in, sets up his team. Three kills here for the defense, but Ultima offense saying, look, just as still reigns from above, was able to take out Kozen. There's not going to be a res for the defense, but there will be a res here for the offense, as Sakari is in a great position to come in. Not using it just yet, in fact, maybe she decided to hold it a little bit longer there, because the people that died, they've already respawned, so. Yeah. Res is going to be held at least for now. Kozen will be back in the fight before the next fight. One shot, though, keeping momentum on their side. Yeah, another phenomenal coordination, though, too, as, he, you know, Ultima, towards the end of that, got that allied shield able to keep him alive. It's so hard to live through a barrage without help. Another big Earth Shredder comes down from Chronic. He is going to get his charge in and take down Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf will go down despite the sound barrier. Good pickoff from Chronic. Sets up his team right now. Both teams 5v5. Both Mercy's they still rise. alive. They should rise right now. Bring up Ultima. Re both Mercy's going to rise. So now the true fight can begin. Dot is still in the back, still in the Hanzo. Both teams trading off, and Winston right now versus Hanzo. Dot has to get out of there. This fight is taking place in the back. It's taking place in the front. Everyone fighting over the cart. The defense has to watch out for the cart, because if they get off it for a moment, they are going to lose this game. As Chronic right now just cleaning house, goes for the charge, actually gets pure at the end. Oh my goodness. Big Earth Shire knocks down three. This is absolutely what One Shot needs right now. They are bullying out Splice, and they are going to cap it with 351 remaining. 508 is the time. Chronic's fingers got to be tired. He swung his hammer for about 30 seconds straight there, just holding down M1, cleaving out the cart. Pretty good time, though. I mean, five minutes is nothing to sneeze at. They didn't really get slowed down very often here. They ran the Hanzo. The whole map got some good effect off of it, too. So that's it. That's 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 our final half coming in. They need to finish out this map, Dust Splice, in five minutes. So that five minutes is a beatable time, but what they're going to need to do, probably the most important thing for them to do, is get point A, if not on the first attack, by the second. If you get gummed up at point A, the odds of just rolling through second and last at the speed you need to roll through, very, very unlikely. Yeah, I definitely agree. All right, well, take a look here at the defense as it sets up. The defense, of course, will be in red. It's going to be Sakari on the Mercy, Exe on the 76, Ultima Weapon on Reaper, Wolf on Lucio, Chronic on Reinhardt, and Dot going to be on that hog. All right, offensively, to try to get this time of 
five minutes. It's going to be Clockwork and Kozen running the combo with Farrah and Mercy. They're going to run a couple tanks. That's going to be Sickness, Papa Smurf, and Flame on Roadhog, Winston, and Zarya, respectively. And Pure will keep everyone nice and healthy on Lucio. So a very standard uh, defense here, too. We're, this is mostly what we've been seeing lately. Just a couple tanks, um, you know, a lot of damage with your 76. Really, he's going to just kind of dominate the high ground. He's in an interesting spot, Ultima Web is already. Um, maybe just looking for that really big drop in on the Reaper. I think they know that if they can just win a couple skirmishes early on, they're going to be setting themselves up for a really good defense. Well, here we go. The time has begun. The winner of this round will be staying alive in the tournament. The loser will be going home. A lot at stake here for both teams. Splice knows it, and they are moving in. And they're moving in with haste. Papa Smurf getting right Good on shot. the Mercy, not wasting any time whatsoever. Now getting on the 76. Pharaoh with the backup. Down goes Exy. I like this aggression coming out from Splice to start this out. Now they're getting on the Mercy. Mercy, though, will be able to get to a bit of support here, so it's not quite all over here for the offense. No, it was looking really rough there for a bit. Chronic actually got isolated, was able to shield and get himself out of there. Had he died, they'd be in big trouble here. Ultima is now back with his team. Dotnix gets a nice hook on Papa Smurf. This is looking pretty good now uh, for one shot. If they can get one or two more picks, they should be able to hold this. They are under a lot of pressure. Sound barrier, though, comes in. Lucio building up that sound barrier already, and they're going to use this to just push the side of Splice back. Sound barrier comes out here for the offense, so one good sound barrier deserves another. Sickness right now looking for something. He does have Earth Shatter. Big Earth Shatter comes down from Chronic. Knocks down at least one. Is he only oh the charge on the Kozen? Looking absolutely brutal in the process. Res comes out here from the defense, and the defense doing a decent job of holding in, even though Sickness is looking for anything in the back right now. Sakari did go down though, so everyone is on their last life here on defense, but they're getting most of the kills. Now Flame is in the back line, he is 1v2ing it, but he's gonna get maybe out of the hook. He's gonna escape somehow. Res is coming in. Attack Visor coming in from Exy now. He has things in his sights, takes out Sickness, forces Papa Smurf back, and the zoning here alone is a huge deal as, oh no, Flame, I think, just jumped over that Helix rocket. That was very close. Here's the problem here, Hex, though, time-wise. There's only three and a half minutes remaining. Already, I wonder if One Shot has won this game. This is not a good look from Splice at all. No, it is uh, pretty rough here. They're going to have to get a great barrage and then just never get slowed down afterwards. It starts off nice, though. Sickness takes down his opposing number. Sickness gets in deep, does take out two. Ultima Weapon and Wolf have hit the dirt. Clockwork over the top. The barrage is down. Goodbye, Sakari. Goodbye, Rez. And again, this is, Splice is going to be able to take this here. It's good cleanup. But look at the time that's remaining. There's only two minutes and 53 seconds. Yeah. That means, effectively, they only have a margin of about two team wipes max. Here's the thing, though. One shot does kind of crumble sometimes when the pressure's yes. on. As much as I hate to say it, like, they, they have thrown maps that they should win if they just, like, because they'll start bleeding, they get a little nervous, then someone comes in and they, they die where they shouldn't, and then it just kind of steamrolls on them from there. So right now they're playing a little bit smart way back right now, but they know that they have the tendency to throw maps and situations like this, so I think that's kind of in their head. Come here and get stabilized. Well, right now they are doing their best not to throw. Chronic and Ultima Weapon pushing the issue, moving into the defense, picking up two kills, not letting them get the easy payload push that they need right now. And if you're playing the defense here, you do want to be a little bit more aggressive. You want to stand the payload, delay it as much as possible. It does take a while for it just to move, even when there's no pressure. So why not dance back around, contest it a little bit more often? Because time-wise, they only have to hold for another two minutes. Here comes the sound bearer, though, from the offense. They're moving in. Not everyone uh, getting it, but Ultima Weapon did get to back. He took out Kozen. Three kills now for the side of one shot as they are trying to put Splice away here. Pure whole hog on the payload will make some space. But here's the res from Sakari. The rest of the defense coming right back in. Pure not long for this world. Going to eat those shotgun blasts to the belly. And Hex, I think that might be it. Only a minute 30 left. I can't see Splice coming back now. They'd have to non-stop push this, and they're going to have to do it against two tank ultimates, which are, at the very least, going to slow things down, that whole hog and the earth shatter. So, a nice fight there. They decided they weren't going to wait and get poked out of it. They sombered, initiated, decided they were going to take their fate into their own hands. It worked out well for them. They're going to walk right into this earth shatter. That's sure. about to come out here from Chronic in a moment. Also, oh, they takes out two. That clockwork is sure going down early really hurts them. That forces the res out. 
Oh man, the big charge coming in from Chronic, setting it up. Ultimate weapon in the back, and time-wise, with 52 seconds remaining, I guess think we'll see GG be called here at any moment. Mathematically, even, I don't think it's possible to bring it from here to the end, not with everyone dead. Yeah, I think they, they kind of know they're probably out of time. Pure is asking for time. Maybe our admin will get to him there, but they're running a D.Va now. It's, yeah, he's going to give him less There's than There's GG being called, so... First place, it's a little bit rough. As Hotsumuffin just jumps into the back, getting another double kill. Just styling in this last part of the point, and... Well played the one-shot. Uh, one-shot able to take out Splice. They're able to keep themselves alive in the tournament. No, I think this entire series was a little bit calm A, a little bit calm B. I think one shot is playing a little bit better, and yeah. Splice, unfortunately, playing a little bit worse and struggling to really prove themselves right now. Well, I think... I think one shot needed that more, just overall, because they've been around for so long that at a certain point, if you're not beating teams, you're just going to, like... We